I'm in uh, Wickford with uh, Pam McCarthy and Shelley Hall at an event uh, organised by Big Lottery Fund and the local MP, Mark Francois, to help groups understand what the funding opportunities are. And um, Pam and Shelley are from the local council for voluntary service, which helps groups uh, make the applications but doesn't fill the forms in for them. Uh, tell us what the situation is like on the ground. It must be pretty tough times at the moment uh, as uh, councils and others cut back on grants. Yes, I mean, at the moment it is quite tough at the moment. Um, really, over the last sort of 18 months, we've noticed in cut and funding. Um, so it's obviously making it difficult for a CVS in general plus other groups in the community. But that doesn't mean to say stop applying. Still come and see us, and we still have systems in. Rayleigh and Basildon to sort of see what routes we can take down and see what funders are out there for you and we will assist you in completing applications to hopefully get some money and if not all money um, but don't be put off by obviously the way things are at the moment um, it's worth applying and giving it a go I don't know if Pam's got anything to add to that yeah, I think um, at the CVS we can promote your organisations, we can keep you regularly in a network on what's going on, what funding's available and what funding matches up and marries with your organisation as well. Um, we run a series of workshops for training, we can signpost you to different training which will benefit, we help you with quality assurance. We also are running a funding fair which will be held on the 5th of July this year in Basildon and that will be extremely beneficial to everybody in this area of Whitford and Rayleigh because many funders will be there. We actually want to help and we want you to apply for funding because the better the organisation is and the more funding is out there, we want to bring it to Rayleigh and Whitford. Can I, can I ask what the biggest difficulties that groups find in um, actually making the application, filling in the form, going through the whole, whole process and so forth, and what kind of tips did you pick up for them? Well, you're probably pretty <laughs> well versed in it already yourselves, but what would you pass on to people from today? Um, I don't know really. I mean, it, people are put off by application forms for a start, um, but that I say again, I'll go over the first point, come to see us and we can help you go through them and we can fill them in question by question. Don't be put off by the size of application forms. Some are difficult, some aren't. But say, both Pam and I are here to actually build on those for you. Yeah, and I do think also that you're, anyone who gets as far as applying for funding is passionate about their organisation. Yeah. The big step is making that person who's assessing the funding application feel as passionate and feel the need. So you really have to do your homework and run the form along someone like the CBS or even a, a critical friend elsewhere so that they can, you can say to them with this form, look, this is what we want. If you did that form, would you know what we're about? Would you know what we require? Would you be sympathetic to our request? If they read your form and say, well, what do you mean by this? It's straight away not good form. Mm -hmm. And I think you have to bear that in mind. I think one point I picked up from Peter Wanless, he was saying that inevitably groups say, we're the most wonderful group, nobody's ever tried to do this before, this is totally innovative, but that the people making the decisions would actually like to know more about the locality and perhaps how groups would collaborate together and work together. Um, is there anything that Big Lottery can do to help get more of that collaboration with yourselves, do you think? I think the big lottery are good at working within local areas and at the moment they're working very well with Whitford and Rayleigh in the main because actually not a lot of money is coming here but it's not the fault of the big lottery it's no. actually the fault of organisations in this area that just aren't applying they've been put off because they don't like completing application forms they've been put off for many reasons really so um, we like to think they'd come to us and if they've got an idea, if it's already going on in the area, nine times out of ten we would know at the yeah, CBA. Yeah, so we would know. tell them and either let them, them marry up yeah. or we would say, no, that's a really good idea, but look for yeah. this and, and make sure their vision was going the right way towards funding. Yeah. Any uh, follow-on in particular from, from this event? I know you've got workshops coming out, funding fairs and so forth. But do you think it will spark some more connections and conversations? 
I hope so, yes. I'm hoping more people now come to us and want to apply for funding, really. That's, the, that's my main hope from, from today. And I think the big lottery have come across very well to local groups and we've had a good turnout. So I'm hoping come next week we'll be flooded with uh, application forms wanting to be looked through by us. Yeah, I, I hope you're right. I really, really hope that plenty of money comes for the benefit of the communities yeah. in this area. And if the applications go in, I really think we'll have some success. Okay. Yeah.